First, let's download the Node.js installer. To do that, open your web browser, and in the search bar, simply type Node.js download and hit enter. Now look for the official Node.js website, which should be the first result. Go ahead and click on that link. Now that we're on the official Node.js website, you'll see various options for downloading Node.js. For this tutorial, we'll go with the pre-built installer, as it's the most straightforward option for most users. I'm going to choose the LTS version of Node.js, which is v20.7.0. This version is stable and recommended for most users. Next, I'll select the operating system. The architecture is already set to x64, which is appropriate for most modern systems, so I'll leave that as is. Once everything is set, click on the Download Node.js to begin the download. You can see the download has started. Once the download is complete, click on the downloaded installer file to start the installation. Click Next on the welcome screen, accept the license agreement, and stick with the default installation option. On the following screen, you have an important choice. If you plan to use Node.js with packages that require native modules, those are modules written in C or C++, make sure to tick the box that says automatically install the necessary tools. Now you're ready to begin the installation. Click install and the process will start. You'll see a progress bar showing you how much is left. You chose to install the optional tools for native modules, a command prompt window will open automatically after the main installation is complete. This window will download and install Python and other build tools necessary for compiling native modules. Just let it run, and don't close the window until it's finished. Now that Node.js is installed, go ahead and open your terminal or command prompt. And if you run into any issues, don't hesitate to drop a comment below. I'm here to help. First, we're going to use a tool called Create React App. So in your terminal, go ahead and type npx create react app my react app. You can replace my react app with any name you like for your project. Feel free to use a preferred name. Then hit enter. Now you might see your terminal working for a few minutes. Don't worry, that's just your computer doing the heavy lifting for you. When it's done, you'll have a shiny new folder with your React project all set up and ready. Now let's make sure everything's working perfectly. In your terminal, type cd my react app, and then npm start. This command starts the development server, and if everything went smoothly, you should see the React welcome page pop up in your web browser. If your Node.js script requests permission to open the browser, make sure to allow it. Also, ensure your browser allows pop-ups. Once the page appears, that's your sign that the installation was a success, and you're ready to start building your React app. You can also open the project folder in Visual Studio Code to explore the files and see your project after the installation. And there you have it. You've successfully installed React on your machine. Now you're ready to dive into building your own React application. How exciting is that? If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more step-by-step -step guides and tutorials.